Reese Davis terrible twins with Cecil Crossdale. Cameraman, one minute, one minute, cameraman. Right there, me and my brother preach every single day about leaving our comfort zones, right? Two years ago, um, I competed in Manchester at the Grand Prix, and he was on stage after me, and I looked up to him. Now, he's come down to help me and my brother progress outside of my comfort zone, right? Even though I respect him and he's an amazing athlete, I'm still gonna fucking battle with him, okay? It's about leaving your comfort zone to be the best you can be. I'm a tough motherfucker, and I'm a nasty motherfucker, as I preach, and Cecil Crossdale, the IFBB professional today, is gonna see that. Let's go, say something, bro. That's all good, that's all good, man. It's all about hard work, man. You ready, you ready to work hard? Ready, bro. To work ready, hard, yeah. okay, we're gonna do our thing, man. Let's go, man, let's go, let's get it. All started. I wanna say, first and foremost, me and my brother have a certain type of mindset, and the man here has been there and he's done it, you know. At the end of the day, you know, he's got an IFBB Pro card. So you've got to pick their brains, you've got to ask them what they've gone through mentally to get where they need to be. And at the end of it, we're going to be twice the man that I am. So, massive thanks to Cecil, a nice humble guy. I'm looking forward to learning a lot. Terrible twins, getting educated, always moving forward. Minimum reps. Yeah, six. Yeah. So if you go to ten, you peak to ten. Okay. Your four reps out from six. Yeah. So in in theory, you should be able to put that weight up. Yeah. yeah. And maybe squeeze six out on the next set. Okay. Or get eight or get seven. But yeah. you're still not at your minimum. Okay. If you peak at your minimum, then you don't want to lift no more weight than that. Okay. You can only do six. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you keep the reps. So don't put any reps in your mind. Just yeah. say I'm working within my range, yeah. what I get, I get. Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah. No shame in that, man. Yeah. But you see, you're hearing that, yeah. and then you're getting programs where people are saying you've got to do 12 yeah, reps, uh, 4 yeah. sets, I'm thinking, huh? They're limiting ya. So yeah. You see, what you've got to do, you've got to understand one thing when it comes to training. A lot of personal trainers, a lot of different trainers always knock other people's style of training. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's shit to them. He's using his legs, yeah. he's using his back, yeah. da 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 da. No, alright, with me, with compound movements, yeah, a compound movement, as everyone should know, yeah. is an exercise that incorporates more than one body part. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna use a compound barbell curls before I'm coming to play yep. upper back, yep. and you bring all those muscles into play because they assist the movement. Yeah. You understand? You keep it as strict as you can, but you get to a point where you have to, you have to use a little yeah. back, bring your back in, yeah. you know, flare your lats out, yeah. squeeze and let your back support you there. So when you lean back, you don't put it on your joint. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so as you know you're gonna have to lean back. Open your lats. Yeah. Yeah. You know use the assisting muscle. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't lift the heavyweight dead straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So use the momentum and the cheating safely. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. Do it deliberately and bring it into the finishing the movie. He, he's basically said what I say. I say it in a rough neck term and he said it in an intelligent yeah. term, right? <laughs> Textbook <laughs> motherfuckers, that's what I say, fuck you. But he just said it in a nice term. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with their style. There's nothing wrong with their style of training. Yeah. Yeah, so if someone says do three sets of ten, try three sets of ten. Yeah. If it leaves you feeling like you could have done three sets of twelve, yeah. then you know you could do more. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's nothing wrong with it. You don't knock another guy's way yeah, of training. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because things work different for everybody. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> criticize. He said you know? enough, <laughs> 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 Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, come on, let's go. Good. Good. Strong. Come on, we got a grow. Come on. Choose me to be your brother. Let's go, come on. Yeah. Come on, let's come on. We didn't schedule no drop set, but it's a typical Warriors mentality. He did his reps and he fucking weren't happy. Give me drop set, give me drop set. I'll give you drop set. Warrior mentality. 
Yeah, the moving the weight is continuous tension. Okay. And there's a thin line between using momentum and keeping that bar yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Because you, if you stretch, you control the the negative. Yeah. Right? Slow or well, fairly slow, not yeah. you know, not yeah. old squeeze. You know, control the negative up. Just blow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So another. Yeah. You getting this, Mr. Cameraman? When you go from um, one exercise to another, what I always recommend doing is what I call a groove set. Because you're changing the angle of your body. Before we were kind of upright, now we're kind of bending over. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you might have surrounding muscles, hips, yeah. forearms, you know, little muscles that ain't fully warmed up from the previous exercise. So sometimes we have to take a light weight, adjust to the angle, and just pump some blood in that, from that position before you start tackling a lot of the weight. A lot of people have noticed in the past, they'll bench press, warm up on the bench press, go straight into the heavy incline. Yeah, that's what we're guilty of. That's yeah, me and That's me and Then they complain, oh, I feel it in my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I've got a little pain. Just warm the other areas up first and adjust to the angle. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. And then we'll go on. This is knowledge that you can't buy. You fucking can't read it. You can't. <laughs> Buy this knowledge. Hook me up online. Yeah. Hook me up on Facebook. You you petrol fire, but man. you see there, the knowledge that we're gaining today is invaluable. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, what's going on with the terrible twins? It's more chocolate again. Another three chocolate motherfuckers. More than 60 stone today. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, nice. Come, Let's go. Easy. Nice. nice. Nice and closer. Nice. Well done, bro. Well done, mate. Come on. Easy. Easy. Good set. Well done. Easy. Good. Good set, mate. I'm a leader, right? But I'm training on this Cecil, right? And he's walking in front of me and he's twice as wide as me, man. Ah! He's fucking inspiring me, but it pisses me off as well. The ladder of success with your hands in the pocket. Faces, it's a front. Yeah, it's a front. It's a front. Scary, scary mongering for nothing. Yeah, that's it. Let's fuck it. <laughs> People who walk around with miserable, hard, angry faces are the ones who are kind of saying, Please don't touch me. Yes, you know what I mean? So they want you to be intimidated. No, no, no. Be serious, but be pleasant with it, man. Yes, you know, you don't have to be angry to be serious. Completely. You don't have to be angry to be you, you, you didn't smile at the fucking camera. Smile. What's up, baby? We all good? Alright, last set, best set. I need a bit of distraction. I, need, I don't want to think about the weight. So shout, say something. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Big butt. It don't get much more real than that. If you, whenever you put weight on, your body has to adapt to the weight. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're putting on weight with other things, food and other supplements, yeah, your, your heart has to work harder to to, to um to put, pump blood around your body. Yeah. So you do it in stages. If you go from 15 stone to 16 stone in the space of four months, yeah. yeah your body has to adapt to the weight. Okay. And that means at first you're not going to be a fully fed 16 stone, you're going to mostly be able to put water yeah. or stuff like that. 
and then after a while it will settle down yeah. and it might drop under 16 stone and then you hold it there oh, and then it climbs stone. back up to 16 stone then you find you feel it happened to me I put weight on I feel heavy feel sluggish stand on the scales I'm out of breath yeah. and then one day I'll get up and I feel light yeah, yeah, yeah. stand on the scale I'm still 16 stone yes. you yes. to so your body's like adapting you. Okay. you understand so it's, you know you put on weight anything you put on within a year you should have gained about eight pound of muscle if you're yeah. on a stone. Anything quicker than that, it's gonna cause all that you walk in, your, your legs rub together yeah. and the bleeding shit. If you walk for too long, get yeah. blisters and all that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Remember, back exercises is all about feeling what you're doing. Yeah. You know, with other body parts, you can look in the mirror, you can see yourself. With back, you can't see yourself. So you have to feel your back as you're working. All right, so try and stay in the same position. Where you feel it, you keep it there. Yeah? yeah. Show me how it's done, man. Finish it. Finish what we started. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's get it. Come on. Pass your attitude, let's go. Yes. Yeah. Strong. Too fucking strong. Kick back. Strong. Push in. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Come oh. on, you want to be like me? Yeah. You got to act as if you're the same as me. Yeah. Simple as that. Come on then, big dog. Pure confidence, my friend. A boy will never teach a boy to be a man. A man can ah. teach a boy to be a man. Ah. If I'm around this daily, oh. shit, you better know it's real. Show me what you've got. Make you like the people. Yeah. Come on. Show me what you've got. Come on, in it. Oh. 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 Put it in these, come on. Oh. You've got to finish it. Oh. exercise for the day, I'm back, okay, you know, in this gym today they didn't have some of the equipment I would usually use, so we've made the most of what we've got, it's the last exercise, so we're finishing strong, yeah. alright, we're going up to a lot more weight than we'd use it for a last exercise, but it all comes down to effort and how hard you want to work. Yeah, pull it in, come on, big power go, come on, yes, and you got to go, let's go, let's go, one more, and one more, When you're digging this fucking deep, it can be no other way. When you get people in the gym throwing weights around A to, a to C aimlessly, there's no thought process whatsoever. There's no thought, there's no meaning behind it whatsoever. So if you think this is deep, it's because we've got so much intent with the work that we're doing. You push a pro, motherfucker. Yes, one of those sessions today, man, where I had to dig deep for probably about 90 minutes of it. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough, but it was educational. Training with someone you looked up to was good, but it didn't mean I took a back seat and just stood there in awe. I put I like to think I pushed him as much as he pushed me. It was aggressive, it was motivational, and more importantly, we hope you can sit back, watch it, and feel inspired, knowing that all three of us are just three gentlemen that are trying to be the best we can be, right? Terrible twins. Now here's Cecil. <laughs> hey man, it was a workout, a good workout today, man. We did back, um, meeting the twins for the first time. Yep. It was a pleasure. Blessed family. It's all good, man. It's all good, it's all good. It worked hard, they push, push me, you know, shouted at me what I need. You know, sometimes <laughs> you're training and you train with certain people and they're, they're silent. They're watching you doing what you do when you need them to push you and scream at you. Yeah. We had a good workout. We done back. We did, um, I think, four exercises. Yeah. Yeah. Um, lap pull downs first, bent over rows. 
um, seated cable pulls, and then we use the machine, hammer strength machine for single arm rows. Yep. Um, I think we work pretty hard today, so relative to how strong you are on the day. You know, what's important is your technique and the reason you're doing the exercises the way you're doing it. Back is always about feeling the muscles because you can't see what you're doing in back exercises. So you have to feel and squeeze and you know feel what you're doing. And I think the guys did that. Yeah. Did you guys? You feel yeah, what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we worked hard and I feel good for it, man. So now it's time to eat. Get some. Don't tell them what's in there. It's a secret. <laughs> get some food. You know that's you know that's the kind of thing. And you know with our backgrounds and where we come from. I mean, I come from a background of growing up in a community in the black communities and stuff like that. And you know, there's many you know many people there who can use training and exercise yeah. as an outlet to get out of that way <laughs> yeah. of life. You know, and do different things and try and better their lives. You know, and set an example for the younger generation coming behind you. Because they're the ones who look up to you, they're the ones who might follow in your footsteps. So you've got to lead a clean, decent path, decent, you know, for them to follow. And I think we do that and I'm hoping these messages and these training sessions reach out to those people. Whether you're black, whether you're white, you know, so we can, you know, do things that leave an impression on people. You know, if people are going to look up to you, you've got to give them something good to look up to. It's simple as that. You know, and I think we had a good day today, and hopefully we can get some more sessions going, 100%, man. 100%, bro. Yeah, man, we've got legs to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, we've got legs to do, we've got yeah. arms to do, we've got shoulders to do. Yeah. You know, and if we can keep it together and do some workouts and, you know, watch your space, man. Yeah, man, oh, yeah. I feel that. That session for me was all about evolution. Basically, Cecil is old school. Basically, come from a different era to me and my brother. But what it boils down to is, it's like-minded souls. You know, we've had the opportunity today to reach out and train with a guy that's moved from a certain situation into a next situation. One now where he's on a social pedestal where people can look up to him. That's what me and Reese are trying to do on our level in our area now, is reach out to the youngers of our, of our community and our area so they can have a way out and become successful and so on. It's how the world becomes a better place. All in all, my back's fucked. I had to dig deep. I can't talk about F1 fighter jets or nothing because I just need to eat some food. Terrible twins, big cess, three chocolates. <laughs> 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 <laughs>